Hi everybody, I'm Raymond Francis. You know, there's a silent epidemic out there. It's magnesium deficiency. Magnesium deficiency is a pressing national health problem. Dietary intake of magnesium has gone down dramatically over the last hundred years, and according to the USDA, 80% of Americans are magnesium deficient. Magnesium deficiency is a major contributor to our epidemic of chronic and degenerative disease, including arrhythmia, chronic fatigue, depression, fibromyalgia, heart disease, and osteoporosis. Why are we so deficient? Well, one reason is the depletion of our soils due to chemical farming practices. Another is the losses due to refining and food processing. Another is the acid-producing diet and lifestyle of most Americans, causing magnesium losses to neutralize the acid. A big problem is our reduced ability to absorb magnesium due to environmental toxins and damaged gut tissue. Most Americans have damaged guts, partly the result of taking prescription antibiotics. Magnesium plays an important role in a wide variety of biochemical processes, including energy production, cancer prevention, um, heart health, bone formation, blood pressure regulation, blood sugar regulation, muscle and nerve function, and for the production of serotonin, which prevents depression. When magnesium is lacking, critical jobs can't get done and we suffer with lower energy, endurance, stamina, and vitality, resulting in a host of diseases. So supplementation is essential. 80% of us should be supplementing. The problem is only high quality supplements will do the job. Optimal intake is estimated to be about 600 to 1,000 milligrams of magnesium per day. Most magnesium supplements are in the form of magnesium oxide, which has a bioavailability of about 4%. So you take 100 milligrams of this stuff, you're only getting four milligrams. Magnesium is most absorbable when combined with specific transport molecules, such as ascorbate and citrate and malate and glycinate, which are more costly. To check your magnesium level, ask your doctor to do a red blood cell magnesium test, which is reasonably accurate, then don't waste your money on low quality magnesium supplements. With supplements, always go for the highest quality. That's where you'll get your best value for your money and for your health.